Hey guys, if you like my content, hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esports Money, ZSM, Mac10, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to another VR Force video. Today we're going to be talking about super sampling in specifically in regards to VR, what it is and how to do it. So super sampling is essentially a multiplier of how many pixels are displayed inside your Oculus Rift. It's not something that you want to be doing if you have a GTX 1050 Ti, probably not with a 1060. You can do a little bit of it with a 1070. That I have a 1070 Founders Edition. I've uh, played around with some overclocking settings, but I haven't really pushed the envelope on it too hard. The frame rate is much more important to me than the super sampling. But if you're someone out there that's got a GTX 1080 or GTX 1080 Ti, then you might find that super sampling is something that you really want to uh, invest in. It's something that you want to play around with. Because, like, let's say you turn up the super sampling to two, then you're doubling the amount of pixels on screen, and this makes the images that you're seeing appear much more smooth. Um, so if, you, if your hardware can handle that hit to frame rate potentially, then that's fine because you know you have you have a specific limitation. Uh, VR is in a lot of ways a can you do it good enough? And if you do it good enough, then you do it 99% as well as the best in the world. But if you're not hitting that frame rate, it's not worthwhile. So if your hardware is of lower end, you may not want to play with this. But if you do, I'm going to go over a few ways how to. So the first is with the Oculus Rift debug tool. Um, this link will be in the video's description, and if you download this program, uh, in the options for the program, you will be able to set your uh, you'll be able to set super sampling options globally for your Oculus Rift. Um, it you want to run the program itself without running it inside of a game to set the global. Uh, super sampling settings, and again, I would recommend a multiplier between 1 and 2, especially if you have below a GTX 1080. Again, I have a 1070, I have played around with super sampling. I played around with super sampling in Dead and Buried, um, because it has super sampling settings built into the game itself, so I don't have to use an external program, and I didn't notice a decrease in frame rate, but it started to look blur, it almost looked less sharp at the, the super high levels of super sampling. Um, that being said, I can absolutely see how super sampling can be good, because if I run Skyrim at double the resolution through Vorpex, it looks like a different game. It absolutely does. It's actually why I don't use Geometry 3D, because I prefer to run at a high resolution, because it looks so much prettier. So this is the Oculus Debug tool. The link will be in the video description. Um, a lot of games actually have super sampling in their configuration settings inside the game while you're in VR. So check on that when you check the settings of your video games. I would assume that the Bethesda titles would all have this coming because it's probably going to become a standard feature. And if you're going to be playing the Bethesda games, uh, specifically Fallout 4, which is coming to the Vive, if you're someone that owns a Vive and you're very interested in playing the game, chances are you have the money or you've invested the money to have the hardware to run it at a high level. I probably won't be playing with super sampling too much with it, at least until I upgrade my GPU. I might be buying the uh, the highest end Vega card. I'm debating on that. I probably won't. I might wait till Nvidia. I'll probably wait till Nvidia's next card. But we'll have to see. I have a FreeSync monitor and I don't have a G-Sync monitor, so it could be beneficial to me. So. Now let's go to Steam VR Global. So you want to hit, you want to go to Steam VR, you want to hit Settings, and then you want to go down to Developer, and it will allow you to adjust the global settings for Steam VR uh, down here. I'm going to turn this back down to one because again, I don't want to be playing with uh, su with super sampling just yet. It's something that I feel like you need to tinker with it on a game-by-game -game basis because if you're in the Oculus home screen, my GTX 1070 without any overclocking is going to blow super sampling, is going to blow it out of the water even if I turn the super sampling up as high as that dial will go. But if I start playing something like, uh, um, what's that game? Gunheart. If I start playing Gunheart, I'm almost positive that I'm going to see stuttering and then get nauseous if I max out my super sampling in a game like Gunheart or in another really high-end game. The Soul Keeper VR, just based on the way those graphics look in the trailers, I'm assuming that that's not going to run very well on my rig if I turn the super sampling up all the way. That being said, I'm sure that when Soul Keeper VR comes out, I will probably be able to crush it without using super sampling, if I don't use super sampling, with my GTX 1070, and I'm pretty sure that a 1060 would be able to do that as well. Maybe a 1060 Ti will, or 1050 Ti, we'll have to see. So that's it. That's how to play with super sampling, a brief overview of what super sampling is. If you like this content, don't forget to, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out. And if you're interested in things that aren't emulation and VR, check out my sister channel where the focus is Dota 2, the game by Valve software. And I'll see you guys next time.